Okay, we're here outside Dexter's house. Now, Dexter, being a herding breed, one of uh, the things he likes to do is he likes to herd. It's in his genetics, but he's trying to herd cars, and that's not gonna work very well for him. So in this video, we're gonna go over, uh, I'm gonna try out different techniques until I can find the right response to get Dexter to stop chasing the car. Now, I've got the Guardian, he's gonna be driving my car, uh, because Dexter's already familiar with his car. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with doing is something, uh, basically, uh, where I'm gonna prevent him from running around. So I have him on a martingale collar, also referred to as a no-slip collar, so we know that he can't escape and get out of this. You might wanna do a harness, just make sure the harness you use is very secure. Uh, all right, okay, Dave. So I wanna keep tension off the leash. A little bit faster. I see Dexter's breathing a little bit heavier. I'm not, really, I'm not really getting much of a response from him for doing that. And you're, in the future, film me, don't film the car. Um, so basically, you can see his ankles are up. He looks at this as a violator. So go ahead and turn around. Maybe you drive down faster. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him a little bit closer. I'm going to step on the leash to prevent him from engaging with it. And I'm going to see that he's what we call above threshold right now. Try to use his nose. You see he's not looking at the car, so he's kind of relaxed a little bit. All right, let's see if we can do this. So this is a little bit of counter conditioning. I wasn't sure which technique I was gonna mm -hmm. use. So Dave is gonna turn around, I'm gonna have him come back up. Now, my test, I like to put a dog into a sit and then give them the treat. If they get up out of the sit, they're say, saying, I'm getting close to my breaking point. Now, where he was before is what we call above threshold. We want the dog to be sub threshold. Mm -hmm. If he's barking and all that fun stuff, you're too, you push too far, too fast. We want to, we want to get nice, uh, increase the distance <laughs> so he can practice. Yes, do what you got to do, buddy. <laughs> We gotta stop traffic here. There yeah. we go. All right, Dexter, sit. Dexter, sit. Sit, Dexter. So I wanna make sure that when I'm doing this, I'm smashing the tree. And if you notice, I can change which direction De Dexter looks by moving his hand. So I want him looking at the car. All right, Dave, let's go up fast. So I'm having the dog looking in the direction where my car is. Now you see, instead of the whining and whimpering and chasing, he's more interested in where the treat is. It's right there, buddy. That time there was no tension on the leash. He's still very aware of where the car is. Turn around and go back down. Sit, sit. Now when you're doing this, you wanna have a whole bunch of good treats ready. And if he stops taking the treat, that means you're too close. Mm -hmm. And you need, they need to be delivering the treat before the car, there we go. So he's starting to get it close to his threshold. But now instead of whining, whimpering, protesting, and lunging and straining on mm -hmm. the leash, he would, didn't move at all. Sit. He's more interested in the treats than he is the stimulus, in this case the car. So what I would do, I like to recreate situations wherever the dog, let me step out of the sun. Um, I like to recreate situations. So if he likes to chase cars, I would practice with your friends or neighbors, have mm -hmm. them come up and do the same technique. Uh, we're gonna basically, after filming this, I'm gonna have the guardians practice this themselves. Um, but we have a neighbor that when, he come, when the neighbor comes by, he really gets worked up for that particular neighbor. And so uh, we're gonna do one more pass, I guess. All right, Dave. Come here, buddy. Again, make sure there's no tension on the leash.
more interested in the treats than he is the car. That's the whole point. Now, as you're doing this, you're gradually going to get a little closer to the road, a little mm -hmm. closer to the road, a little closer to the road, until you can be like right next to the road, and he's just watching it pass, and he's seated, he's not breathing heavy, and he's nice and relaxed. Dexter. Come here, buddy. Dexter. All right, stop. Dexter. Dexter's like, why is somebody, why is my dad in some other, why is somebody else's car? Dexter. Everybody. This is Dexter. I'm redirecting. And this is Dexter. This is, uh, these are some tips and tricks he can use. How to use counter conditioning to stop a dog from reacting to a moving car.